Hi guys, this is Brian Bennett for CNET and we're taking a first look at the Breville U-Brew coffee maker. Now when you first look at this machine, I know when I did, I was thinking, wow, this is one serious piece of coffee making hardware. As a matter of fact, it looks like some kind of coffee robot from the future. It's covered in metal that's shiny and brushed on all sides. It's got this crazy LCD panel right here that has all these buttons that light up. It's very slick, it's very handsome, it's very, very stunning. Breville has added all these features in there that lets you choose how strong you want your coffee. Essentially, you can program how strong you want your brew to be and also what kind of flavor profile it will have. It'll either be mild or bold, depending on your personal preference. Also, up top is the star of the show. It's a hopper that holds about half a pound of whole beans and a burr grinder underneath that lets you grind and brew coffee fresh whenever you want it. This fancy lid hides some really useful features. Inside is a float that physically tells you how much water is in the tank. It'll also beep at you if you have filled it up too much. You also see a full readout of how much water is in the reservoir right on the LCD screen as you pour. That's pretty cool. Another cool thing you can do is you can choose to brew a single cup or an entire carafe. It's up to you. Now this complicated machine is not cheap. It costs $250. That's a lot to pay for a programmable coffee machine. So there are definitely some things I don't like about the Breville U-Brew right off the bat. First of all, it is big. It takes up a lot of counter space. It's also expensive. And despite all this fancy robotics and smart technology up here, it does not brew a tasty cup of coffee. And for me, that is a serious deal breaker. This machine is a serious pain to clean. It has lots of parts. You have to get in there and brush with the provided brush, but it's still a pain to get in there and get all the grounds out of there and wash all the components. So that's something you definitely have to think about before you buy this. So when you boil it all down, bitter coffee, high price, and very tough to clean, make this machine very hard to recommend. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my review of this machine and my other reviews of drip coffee makers at CNET.com. I'm Brian Bennett for CNET Appliances.